Jack and Jill went up the hill. They couldn't pay the water bill. Now they can't afford the rent. Jack's out looking for a tent. Oh, Mr. Banker, Jack came tumbling down. You went through his pockets as he lay on the ground. You speculate, accumulate, then leave poor people to their fate. Yes, because the bank is greedy, honest folks are needy. Willy Winky runs round town, dressed in just a nighty gown. Taking pills, he is depressed, say his house was repossessed. Oh, Mr. Banker, you had all your schemes. Willie's living Elba, nightmares Elba, now and still. Elba, 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 Elba. Uh, my name is Nancy Brigham. I'm a, I live in the neighborhood. I live over on North Yorkshire. Uh, first time I've been involved in something like this. Uh, we have to do something. We have a wonderful neighborhood. As you can see, our neighborhood is racially integrated. It's a great neighborhood. We're very proud of it. It's a beautiful neighborhood. And the, the crime wave that is going on in our neighborhood is a crime wave by banks that are evicting people unfairly instead of modifying their mortgages and doing everything possible to make sure that they stay. So we're gonna we are here to stop that crime wave. Uh, Belva Davis is a courageous woman. Uh, she is not she's standing here at this is a sign she just made. I want to stay in my home. Right. We want her to stay in this lovely home. Right. She will not be ruled. Wow, I'm just one little person, and I sometimes I feel like I'm fighting Goliath, but we'll, all of us together working on this, we can stop the banks and hold them accountable and have them work with people to stay in their homes, to keep the neighborhood safe to contribute to our city. I love my neighborhood. I moved here in 2003. I chose EEV because we didn't have vacant lots. We didn't have boarded up houses. People had a sense of community. You could talk to your neighbors. You talk to the kids. You'd see your neighbors walking your dogs. And as Nancy indicated, it's an uh, integrated neighborhood. It's intergenerational. And I know all my neighbors on four sides. And I want to stay here because of that sense of community. When this first happened, uh, my cousin said, eh, you need to pack your bags if you want and move to Novi. And I said, no, I'm not going to move to Novi. I want to stay in Detroit. No, that's So the next step, I got a lawyer. And during Christmas, it was Right before Christmas, they wanted to evict me. That's when I got my lawyer. And their attorney said, oh, we're not going to evict her during Christmas. We're so kind-hearted. We'll wait two weeks later in January. I've been fighting since last year. Appealing, appealing, going back and forth. They simply do not want to work with me. The judge even ordered them and said, can you guys work something out? Ms. Davis, your lawyer and the other lawyer, talk it out, see if we can work out a modification. We gave them a modification. We gave them a modification higher than the value they placed on my house when they wrote it off for bad debt. They came back with a modification for $160,000. And we know the houses aren't worth that right now. Now we don't know what the value is. I'm sure that if I leave, the values of my neighbor's properties will go down too. And I don't want that to happen. We know, all know what happens. Somebody comes in, they break your windows out, they steal your plumbing. The house sits vacant because nobody wants to buy it. And next thing you know, you're calling city council saying, please knock down this abandoned building. 
and we could stop it from from the beginning. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm making you know this little stand in the sand. And right now I'm going to circuit court. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I am committed to make as much noise as possible. We are going to shame them to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. 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 no justice, no peace. No, no justice, justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. No justice, no peace. And I'm most excited to see the people here. Because I'm, I may be a lawyer, but I understand that justice for people when you're fighting with banks is one in the streets more often than it's one in the courts. And we got to be determined to fight to stop Belva from being evicted from her home. Let me just give a little background on Belva's case because it typifies what so many people have been through. In, 19, in 2008, Belva was having a rough time economically, was working two jobs, low paying jobs. Fell behind on the mortgage like many other people, contacted the mortgage company to let them know she was behind. They, instead, of course, they put her house into foreclosure, sold it at the sheriff's sale. During the six-month redemption period, she was fortunate enough to get a decent job as a supervisor for the Census Bureau. She went to a nonprofit agency, Mission for Peace. Worked with them, presented a, a modification proposal where essentially she was saying, I'm, I can pay my mortgage now. Can you just put what I owe on the back end of the mortgage? They told her, give us $19,000 up front before we start talking to you. When their programs were passed, we approached them, said all we want now is for them to live up to the contract with the sign with the government, give them uh, Belva this modification, which she could afford, which still wouldn't leave her paying on an overpriced mortgage, and they have absolutely refused to talk to us. Jack and Jill went up the hill, they couldn't pay the water bill. Now they can't afford the rent, Jack's out looking for a tent. Oh, Mr. Banker, Jack came tumbling down. You went through his pockets as he lay on the ground. You speculate, accumulate, then leave the people to their fate. Yes, because the bank is greedy, honest folks are needy.